What's up, boys? It is MLB season. I'm going to be playing a lot of baseball on stream for here the rest of the summer, but I want to keep grinding Matt. And so what I'm going to do is just give you kind of these live games. I thought I can do like one of these live games a day. Talk to you guys. What do you need help with? What should I try to put out in the gameplay? Uh, am I struggling with run defense? Are you struggling with big bombs? Are you struggling with progressing through your reads? What defense kills you? What offense do you hate going against? Whatever it may be, I'll pick one of your comments, and I'll go ahead and build my game off of one of your comments every single day for the most part. So let's take a look at my team. I'm going to keep trying to grind Madden because, man, YouTube is popping. I want to hit that 40K mark before Madden 23, so we're going to keep grinding it. This is the team I'm rocking with right now, boys. You see we got Randall, we got Escape, and we got Pass Lead Elite. We have Route Tech on Josh Gordon. We have Deep Out on Randy Moss. So a lot of Randall Cunningham, a lot of Escape artists, so he's going to get some things done for me. And then we got Josh Gordon, who I think is the most underrated wide receiver in the game. Defense, we got Sean Taylor, mid zone acrobat and secure tackler, mid zone acrobat on Taylor Mays, Metcalf, we got Sherman. We still have Seattle theme team. I'm not changing my theme team. Everybody's 99 speed now. Theme team is kind of cooked, really. Excited for golden tickets. I think they're the last thing that's going to bring any any type of energy into the game is golden tickets. So uh, if, if I were to make a golden ticket, I think we would go, man, I don't know where we go if I get a golden ticket. The, I feel like everybody's already 99 speed. Everybody's already tall. I think it would have to be a, the quarterbacks are going to be the only ones that really make a big difference. You know, maybe the wide receivers, if they can get route tech or something like that. So this this guy I've played a lot. It's going to be a pretty good game. He's I'm pretty sure pretty meta guy. So we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of used to dealing with the meta, if that makes any sense. I'm used to playing against it. And that's part of playing man is playing against the meta, being good at it. Get the ball first. So short games sucks to get the ball first honestly it really does because that halftime is kind of like a built-in stop i never want to turn a kick because you're not going to get to the 25 yard line and you could fumble so and like i said man it's the end of the year any questions you guys have about playbooks plays what play do you run how do you beat this i'm going to try to be completely transparent man the people aren't grinding mad if you guys are grinding i'm grinding man still still playing weekend league we're gonna get you better that's how i feel because even if it's only 10 of you guys that are locked and listening we're gonna get you better for real now the first play of the game i'm gonna be in the middle of the field if you're a bunch guy if you're a trips guy anything middle of the field sucks he was not set up on defense yet so automatically goes through my mind i think he's going to be audible and down because he's just had to set up a bunch of audibles position subs yep exactly audible down three three five wide middle of the field you want to start with a with a basic play so I can kind of, you know, not worry about the hash mark. So I like to run flood. Just get an easy game. All right. I have a route tech on Josh Gore, and I kind of want to put him on the solo side most of the time in case he ever runs man coverage so I can run that deep post. And But he looks like he's just going to be a, a, a regular cover three guy. And honestly, flood is really good against this type of player. And f honestly, you just flip kind of just to be annoying, really. I mean, that time we just got nano and no nano detection. Of course, if I got, if I came free, we would have got nano detected, right? So he's seen I run flood twice in a row. I will run it again. Let's see if he changes anything. No. Nice. Flood always has the best flat route. And now we can go with a wheel route here, third and five. He's run cover three, blitz five, pretty much every play so far. I assume he's going to get my running back here. So I'm looking to hit, the, I mean, or I'm just like glitched and I can't hit nothing. Nice, just like just frozen. Nice. You try to get on the game, you know, you try to have fun. Let's get on some Madden and we just freeze right there. Can't snap the ball, can't do anything. All right, now we're going to reverse here. I assume he's going to go to my running back or my tight end here. Nice. Oh, yeah. Pitts, get up out of there. Get a block for me. Oh, come on, Moss. You got a block better than that, buddy. It's been every single play has literally been brush five. Cover three, he's got the middle of the field. It's been four plays so far. So here we're going to just try to roll out here. We're going to double team that guy if we get a rollout, and we're going to try to hit Moss for a touchdown here. Ah, uh, he kind of covered Moss. We'll take what we can right up the middle, right? That's what Escape Artist does for you. Honestly, we'll try to go the other way here now. So if we double team this guy, we want, I think that's Derwin James. We want him to come free. Because well, I can run around him if he comes free. And we're going to try to roll, and we're going to try to hit the corner route in the end zone here. Free, wide open. Feet, Randy Moss, touchdown. 
That's what Escape Artist does, man. It's so hard to keep them in the pocket. That's why it's the best ability. It's broken. It's cheesy. It is OP. But the best way to combat Escape Artist is to use it yourself. That's how I always felt. So I always tell people, I would take 7 nothing. If I could guarantee 7 nothing, I would take that over ball half. Like, just guaranteed. Maybe not this year because scoring is so easy, but... I like being up 7 nothing. All right, I like to do base line. I like to do 5-yard yellows. That's what I like to do. So when I put a yellow, it's going to stop a drag. Then I like to be able to change my flats between clouds and hard flats, so I don't like to put my flats on anything. I like to run dollar. I have the dollar ebook out now. Any of you guys that are Madden Turf members get that for free. If you're not, you can get the, you can get the dollar ebook for, for $10 on Madden Turf. The links are below. If not, just keep watching these, man. Bunch offset. Probably about the only thing I want to really blitz. He has two O-line abilities, so I don't think he's uh, running escape, which is good. First play, he's going to run. When they don't have time, they're probably going to run. I almost shot it right there, but I right, flipped. Nice. This is my setup pretty much against Bunch every time, really. All right, hit the flat. Pay attention to that. You can't overreact to that. Like, if you overreact to that, you're going to give a big play. Bench pivot. All right. Like, frozen now out of nowhere. Like, just audible to cover four because I'm just so frozen. He's going to have all day here. Oh, good job. Night train. Way to get frisky right there. Got night train in the slide with Moss. Ran bench pivot two plays in a row here. I, I would say he probably flips. Trips tight end, that's cool. It's 50 feet, feet. Oh, Medcap, that big body almost got that. All right, audible to, he audible to trips tight end right there. All right, I think he flips the he flips his bunch here. I think he might quick snap. So I'm ready for a quick snap. I'm ready for a flip too. If he flips, uh, he audibles again to this. Three man rush here, man. We're gonna see what we can get. If we can get a corner route here. Oh, that's a good throw. I probably could have put my yellow zones at ten there on fourth and or third and ten, but I like staying at five. For him to make that throw, man, that's a good timing throw. Good pass, man. Really. All right, audibles to tight. I honestly like. I was like just running cover four against tight. Truthfully, it's a good dot. I hate when people audible around. It's just they're really just trying to get you stuck. Nobody sits in bunch. He's audible to every play so far. Audibles again. That's okay. Passing so easy when people run the ball, it's like, cool play, bro. <laughs> cool play, bro. What's up, boys? Let me tell you about Thrustmaster. This is the controller I've been using for over a month now. I was having trouble with all my other ones. You know, they're not the best made things. So the people at Thrustmaster partnered with me, sent me out their new controller to try it out and show you guys, man. I used it for a month to see if I liked it. I didn't want to tell you about anything I didn't like. I absolutely love it. All the parts are great. They actually make flight simulators and racing simulators for all the professional circuits of flight simulating and racing. So they said, let's take our technology and bring it to Xbox. They've made this controller. You guys can click, click the link below. Make sure you check it out over there. Uh, it has buttons on the back. You know, most people have paddles. This actually has buttons embedded. So much better than that. Every single thing on this, this controller is customizable. You can actually take off the grips on the side. You know, and they can change whatever color you want. I actually got the standard black ones. You can take these out if you want blue ones, red ones, green ones. You see, I just got the all black with a little bit of red. That's more my style. Whatever you want, man. I have green ones, orange. You can do all that. If you want to change the layout, switch your D-pad and your thumbstick, you can do that as well. All the buttons are super clean. Love this controller, man. You guys can click the link below and check out the controller that I'm using myself to put all these gameplays together. All right, but we haven't given up a big play or anything over 20 yards, so... He hasn't quick snapped yet. That's what's going through my mind. He audibles again. He's probably going to run bench pivot here, honestly. Then he did. Oh, he ran verts. Never mind. That's a pick. Oh, my goodness, Sean Taylor. You got to, like, didn't he just sit there and wait for that? All right, man. If he hits that pass, like. Uh... Pick. There you go, Moss. Good job. Just hold him in the pocket. This is Baja. Let's go. Baja, Randy Moss, man, to the crib. Just stay true, man. When they audible, I swear, when people audible around, I just go to cover four. Go to cover four, make them beat them. Aaron Donald finally got some pressure there. Made him hold the ball. Randy Moss in that hard flat. 
That's why I don't set my flat zap my flat zones because I want them to be able to play a hard flat will play five yards, zero yards, even eight yards. Hard flat right there, third and ten, pick six. Let's go, Randy Moss. And now <sighs> that's that deep side of relief. I feel like the game should the game's over. The game's over right now. He gets ball at half, which is an automatic turnover. So he could get seven and double dip the chip. But man, pick six, pff, easy, freezy. Make a tackle here. Good job. I love, that's why I love that kickoff. You see a lot of people pooch kick to the fullback. I love that kickoff to the sideline because people return it. And look, they, they're negative 10 yards right now. So it's like, I feel like that's that's a dub. I feel like he goes uh, bench pivot here. I got to watch deep post. I don't have a deep blue over the middle here. So, yep, bench pivot. Good call. Good call. Good pressure right there, boys, because that corner route was kind of open. I think he goes back to that. I'm just going to double hard flat here. Goes verts. We're going to send the spy. Nobody. Sherman. Sherm. Now, was that a drop pick? Comment. Was that, was that a drop pick? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Does he audible here? I'm gonna play the sticks here. That's gonna give me 10 yard. That's gonna give me 10 yard flats. Playing the sticks gonna give me 10 yard flats. I don't know what he's doing here, bro. I really don't have no idea. It's a bag. I'm just letting the computer do it. Metcalf, easy. You're so bad to carry. That's why we have Metcalf, big body right there. Big bodies. Bye bye. He's gone. Just like that. Just like that. I will tell you, I'll tell you this right now, man. One thing I love this year, when they throw the ball up, anything like that, man, it is a pick. It is a just, or it's not a pick. It's just I don't click on. Because you click on that, gives you a two-man animation, and you don't get that contact with the with the uh, wide receiver. You saw that Sherman won the play before. He got contact with the wide receiver. Boom, bounced off him, and, you know, you're not going to get mossed. But when you click on and go for a pick, it pretty much just becomes a jump ball, and that's how you get mossed. I learned that early in the year, and people laugh at me, and I've never been like this in Madden, but I feel like clicking off is the move, the move this year so you don't get mossed. But like I said, that was I was a, a pretty quick game, pretty easy. We just kept everything in front of us, no big plays. We got dotted a couple times, but uh, like I said, when people audible, I just pretty much panic, go to cover four, and say, "Go ahead, keep everything in front of me." If you can get somebody at the twenty yard line or the ten yard line, it's a lot easier to stop them. And for me, that's why I audible to cover four. That's what I did. So this is what I'm going to kind of do for Madden YouTube here on out, man. For the rest of the year, I feel like this is a good idea. I feel like it's going to help you guys if you're grinding. Uh, I'm probably still going to play weekend league on stream, so we'll get some stream games. But in between during the week, I'd like to do these breakdowns and help you guys out. So if any suggestions that you want to see me talk about you want to see me break down if you want to see me how to stop escape artists how to roll out on everything how to be covered whatever you guys need help with whatever pisses you off about madden man put the comments on because if you guys are still grinding the game you're still playing we're going to get you way better this summer going in to madden 23 like i said hit the like button subscribe i want that 40k mark before madden 23